Today we're going to be looking at algebraic expressions with two operations. So we worked on algebraic expressions using one operation and we're going to use what we know about multi-step problems to help us get through this lesson. We need to decide what operations we're going to use and what order we should use them in order to solve an algebraic expression. And we're going to use models to show how the operations relate to each other. If we look at this first example, 2 times t divided by 4. And remember, we can also just say 2t divided by 4 because 2t also represents multiplication. And if you remember from algebraic expressions with one operation, that's going to help us with this. We're only going to have to focus on one operation at a time. So we need to focus on this part, 2 times t. And when we represent that in a model, we remember we had our model and 2 times t, that means that we showed t represented 2 times. So we have a t on this side and a t on this side. So this part of the model is 2t or 2 times t. Okay. Now we're going to include a second action. Each of, these, each of these models will have two actions. For each algebraic expression, we're going to have two actions. This would be action one. Now we're going to include action two. We're going to complete another model, and we're going to do the model about the same size, the same length as the 2t, so, because now we're going to focus on the second part of our algebraic expression, divided by 4. And if you remember, when we were doing numerical expressions, and algebraic expressions with one operation, we divided this into four. And we use the dotted lines because that's showing division or they're being shared each part. Okay? So this is divided by four. One, two, three, four. So this part of the model, this action, represents the division part of the model. So now we have 2t divided by four and we've modeled those. Let's look at the next example, 2d minus 3 or 2 times d minus 3. Now, always remember we can write these either way when we show multiplication. Let's focus on the 2d. So again, we will have our model drawn like this. We would divide it to two sections, and we're going to show d is represented two times, so that gives us 2d. We're going to have a second model. This is action 2 and we're going to try to make them the same length, both models the same length. Now we're going to show this part, the minus 3. And when we show the minus 3, we're going to show that that part has been taken off. Let me fix this part because they do need to be the same length. Try to represent the same length. I'm going to put this here because remember subtraction, we're showing that this part is kind of being taken away. It's hanging off here. So we show those with the dotted lines. And then that side shows minus 3. So right here is the 3 that's being subtracted from 2D. Okay. Let's look at the next couple of examples. 3, we have n plus 5 minus 8. We're going to do this action because it's in parentheses. Same thing. We already did addition models. So when we're doing an algebraic expression with an addition model, we're going to show that we're joining equal parts. So our n would be represented over here, and the 5 would be represented over here. And this shows n plus 5. OK? Now let's look at our second action. This time we are going to pay attention to the minus 5. That's the action that we are going to look at. I'm sorry, not minus 5, minus 8 right here. So we're going to look at minus 8. We are going to draw our model. And I'm going to remember that I want them to kind of be the same length. So this is going to show the 8 being taken away from the n plus 5. So over here, we have the, the 8, minus 8. So this part is what's been taken away. And we are subtracting. 
g divided by 3 plus 10. We're going to do a division model, and the same thing, we're going to start here. Remember when we're doing our division model for homework in our algebraic expressions with one operation, we're going to do the same concept. This is going to be g divided by 3, so we start like this, and we're going to divide this so we can show that it's being divided into three parts. This action, this, whole, this part of the model is what represents the G. So remember, we want to show that all of that is the G, and it's divided into one, two, three parts. So this is G divided by 3. Okay. Now we need to do our second part of our model, the plus 10. So we have two actions. Remember, this is our second action. We want to try to make sure it's the same length. And we are going to show the plus 10. So, but since the plus 10 is alone, we're going to show that this part of the, of the model represents the plus 10, okay, over here. So this is going to represent the plus 10. So g divided by 3 plus 10. This, we don't need to put anything here. This is the G. This is the unknown piece, so we don't need to put anything there. Just like we didn't have to put anything over here, and we didn't have to put anything here, because this is what's unknown, and we already know that that's the D, and we're showing how two, the two models relate. Okay? And there are two more examples that are here. And I want you to try to see if you can pause the video and be able to model these two examples. Let's get rid of this shade. And I want to see if you could um, model these two examples when you pause the video and come back. And we will discuss those tomorrow in class. Look at number seven. There are eight times a number of nails in in a toolbox then 10 are used. We're going to take what we know about numerical expressions, algebraic expressions, using one or two operations, and we're going to put our knowledge together. We need to look at what's important, what helps us understand what this problem is, is asking us. Okay, There are eight times a number of nails. Eight times a number of nails in, telling us what variable we're going to use in a box. So we can simply say 8 times a number for that portion. Then 10 are used. Okay, so that lets me know this action is happening first. Then 10 are used. Well, I'm going to have to subtract 10 because if 10 are used, used is a good word for we're subtracting. Now I'm going to model 8 times n minus 10. So I need to make sure that I am drawing my model that represents the words. Okay, so I should have 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 pieces, 8 parts, okay? And this lets us know that n is represented 8 times. So we're going to put that here. Remember, this is our first action. This is action one. Now I need to do the second action, and I need to show that the 10 is being taken away, okay, from 8 times n. And I'm going to put that action here, and I'm going to have 10. So this shows minus 10 over here, and this action shows 8n or 8 times n. I want you to look at example 8, read it, and see if you can figure out what this is asking you, and do the same thing. Write your numerical, I'm sorry, your algebraic expression. You know you're going to have two operations, and then model it. See if you can do that. Remember to log into Edmodo. Let me know that you watched the video, and make sure that you do your homework assignment along with your WISC. Try to go back and look at all parts of this video and put things down in your journal that are going to be helpful to you. See you in class.